and welcome to the Oddity Archive, the show that I will never understand 90s nostalgia. Anyway, it's that magic day of the year again. You know, the one where we all get to masquerade as pop stars. Except for me. By popular demand. But uh, nonetheless, I have got seven laser karaoke discs just chock full of bad vocals and irrelevant video to get through today, so let's get right to it. Now, this first one was actually a viewer donation, but uh, I don't remember who it came from. Uh, the instant I opened the package, I passed out. And I have no recollection of the subsequent three days. I wasn't poisoned or anything, mind you. It's just that uh, this disc is that sleepy. So... This first one is from easily one of our most famous, most regular, most beloved slash hated laser karaoke series. I'm talking about the Top Hits English Songs series, and we've got volume 30 today. Uh, though I think a more apt title for this one would have been something to the effect of 12 Inches of Narcolepsy. Up next is a pair of discs from a series that I haven't touched on since Volume 3. I'm talking about the oh-so-mid-90s Megastar Hit Songs series. And today we've got Volumes 28 and 50. And uh, if the condition of these things is anything to go by... These suckers must have seen a lot of use in their day. But uh, if you remember, this is the series that seriously stretches the definition of hit. So most of these songs were technically hits, but were only hits on specialized charts, like the adult contemporary or mainstream rock or modern rock charts. But oftentimes these things did not register on the Billboard Hot 100. Now, I picked out these two discs, uh, and I've got a ton from this series, but I picked these out because uh, the hit quotient seemed to be a little higher here. Uh, I'd say about half of each disc is comprised of real, genuine top 40 singles. Having said that, uh, particularly for volume 50 here, they had to reach back to the 70s a couple of times just to keep that hit quotient up. Our next two discs come to us from the big boy of Laser Karaoke, Pioneer Electronics. So this first disc is Light Hits Volume 2, which, as you could probably guess, is mostly soft rock, easy listening fluff. But as for the videos, it has this strange tendency of seemingly promoting toxic, mutually dependent relationships. Now, the other Pioneer disc is just a tad bit more upbeat. It's Top 40, Volume 3. And this one finds the folks at Pioneer trying to catch up a bit with music video aesthetics and failing miserably. In other words, most of the footage here was shot in 1993, 94, uh, and it sure looks it. However, the most recent song on here is from 1989, and the oldest is from 74. As you could well imagine, the songs and video tend to clash just a teeny bit. Oh yeah, and this one's notable for having seven Madonna tunes in a row on it. I'm limiting myself to only two. 
for the entire episode. Our last two discs come to us by way of a series that has kind of become a favorite here in Laser Karaoke Land over the last couple of years. Best known for their 50s and 60s pseudo-nostalgia, I'm talking about the Vocal Images series, uh, better known to us as DK Karaoke. And so this first disc, uh, which is Volume 2, is... Uh, Basically me asking for trouble with YouTube. It's an all Beatles installment. The other disc, Volume 5, sticks with 50s and early 60s rock and roll, but the video has a real inexplicable violent streak. Okay, now that we've got the formalities out of the way, let's get down to everybody's favorite part of these episodes, the montages. And, keeping with tradition, let's kick things off with the bad music and or vocal lightning round. This year's batch of material marked a serious resurgence in videos that lack subtlety, that could have benefited from a little restraint, that were too literal, all right? Do I have to spell everything out? As I mentioned earlier, the Vocal Images Oldies disc has kind of a violent streak. But strangely enough, that streak extends to a few of today's other discs. But having said that, it's not so much violence between people, uh, though there is some, but there's a fair amount of inexplicable violence towards inanimate objects. As if all the violence wasn't enough, the stalker quotient was a little on the high side this year. And couple that with the occasional tendency of using that streak towards otherwise romantic material, and, well, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that the makers of these videos have a slightly tough time maintaining relationships. As we all know, sex sells. And uh, who am I to argue with such a wide potential demographic? Indeed, in the name of widening that demographic as much as possible, I am going to try and keep things on an equal footing here. So, equally, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for yet another installment of... Oddity Archive After Dark. If you've seen pretty much any of the other installments of this little sub-series, you know that pretty much every year I find a bunch of footage that doesn't explicitly fall into any particular category, 
but is some degree of stupid. And uh, every year I get to watch my IQ drop another couple of points because of it. So, here it is, this year's quite epic, as always, Stupid Potpourri Montage. Last summer, I managed to flea bay a lot of 38 laser karaoke discs. Unfortunately, about a dozen of them don't really qualify for this series because they don't have guide vocals. And as I've found doing this for the last several years, it just doesn't quite fit with the format. It just doesn't quite work when they're not there. But anyway, that bunch of discs were all from the same series, and it was the generic Pioneer Laser Karaoke series. And these are all the same. They have half the cover being a track list and half the cover being a picture of a laser disc. But uh, there was one song on all these discs that I just could not turn down. And so, I want to close things out today with one from this half Christmas tunes and half kitty tunes disc, in which we answer that age-old burning question, whatever became of that poor meatball that got lost when somebody sneezed? <laughs> 